Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today, even though we've started a few episodes as of late in this very room. Uh, yeah, the last one started here, I think of another one... Uh, I don't remember exactly. Well, we have another room that is filled with poisonous uh, gas, and this thing over here, what is this? Barbed tendrils envelop everything below. So, Angela. How's your arm feeling? Let's attack this. Yeah, she's gonna have to do that again. I don't know, it's probably locked. The one behind it. No, it's not. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Come on! Get in there! No, Poor damn it. Bastards. Killed by their own plants. These guys? Really? Holland A. This corpse smells like it came from the Ranger Citadel's compost pile. Yeah. This is Winhun. Winhun, maybe, Jay. He looks like he got lashed across the eyes. Ugh. Yeah. Let's see what that is. Can I take that with me? Some healing supplies. Can I give them to him? No. Shit. <laughs> okay, and shit. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Um, what is this? Can I? Do I need to explore everything? The woman has a forest of herbs growing out of her skin. You're surprised no one has rolled her up and smoked her like a joint. Okay, oh, that's nice. I'll take that. I will take that. But this room, I don't think there's anything else for me in here. So it wasn't a waste of time. Definitely not a waste of time. What is this? Okay, I can't brute force it. But I definitely can send Sigari in there to try and uh, lock pick it, however, and uh, save the game just in case he doesn't do it. And it's gonna take damage. That is my real big problem right now. I think I'm gonna need to give Rose or somebody else some uh, healing. Killing uh, abilities. Good, good for you, man. Get back here immediately. Uh, yeah, I think you took four damage right there. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to give her some healing abilities on, on first aid because otherwise he's gonna be in a bad way. I don't have any more healing supplies for him, and I've spent them all already on him. I think I don't think anybody else took them. No, 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 don't go there. Don't go there. Damn you, idiot! Just Rangers, you promised Jan you'd keep her secret. I'm disappointed. Her mood will be worse. So many dead before their time. I promised what? We put the first victims in here to keep them cool. Then, there were too many to deal with. So many dead before their time. What the hell was she saying? You promised Jad? There was... I think there was a bug. I think she was talking about... She said something completely different. Yeah, she was going on about... This whole place. Nobody promised Jan anybody. Anything. Just... just Shut up, Rose. You are going mental. Okay, we got something over here. We got over here. It looks like a giant fly used its overgrown mandibles to shoot through the sides of this maintenance robot. Surely someone with some skill in computer sciences or repairs could secure the Sundry machine. Yeah, that is what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, I know how to proceed in this area. So, the first time around, I, I, did, I wasn't sure. So, I spent a lot of time dealing around, dealing with... Um, with this poisonous cloud of things. Yeah, there's over here, as you can see, there's uh, some sort of uh, plant blocking the path. So I just need to do this and get in here with all of my party because, of course, she's not gonna be able to deal with them. Okay, that blowed up. Can you please not alert them? Uh, okay. Yeah, I need my whole party in there. So press space, send them here. That, yeah. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we're all getting poisoned now. Uh, fortunately, the poison only lasts for 10 seconds. Everyone's back here. I think we're all back here. Are we all back here? We are all back here. That's good. So, let's go into crouch. And let's attack, I guess. So, Aza Hell, you know the drill. Let's attack the uh, super flies. Oh, you don't have range. Okay, then attack the port person then. Okay, that was a miss. It's fine. It is fine, I could attack that. I will probably attack that when Rose's turn comes up. Okay, let's first attack the pot person. These guys are tough. These guys are tough. Yeah, that's... He's gonna attack... Okay, that's fine. Francis is, is, can't take the hit. As long as you don't attack Diego. That is a miss. Okay, so I think... Oh, I'm out of range. Okay, so if you're out of range, how the hell... Right, okay, let's see. Ow! Don't miss that! Come on! What the hell was... 
What the hell's wrong with you, Rose? Is your sight blocked or something? You should tell me. Okay, psychopath. Okay, you atta can attack again. Oh, that's truth. That is truth, by the way. Yeah, yep. Yeah. She doesn't have ammo. No, that's Rose. Oh, that makes sense. So that was truth before. This one is Rose. Okay. That means... Okay, it's fine. Let's see what I can do. There we go. That wasn't that bad, was it? Now you... Can I take care of that guy? He's gonna blow up those two. That's how you do it. That felt good. That felt good. Okay, can I take that thing out? That's nice. Let's wait. So he's mad. He's immune, I know, but he's mad still. So let's... Uh, man, these guys run so fast. Uh, let's see. Can I shoot without hitting anybody? I think I can. I can hit him, though. So I, that's literally what I did. I shot without hitting anybody. Um, okay. Okay, one hit. Another hit. That one was good. I think that was a critical. So, Truth, can you... Sh can you... Hit him, please? No? Okay, fine. Okay, whatever. Uh, 84. Don't hit her, and there we go. That's the end of combat, right? It is the end of combat. And we got a couple of level ups as well. That's fantastic. That is really fantastic. Everybody is good to go. Let's take care... Oh, there's something over there. There's something over here. Is you gonna blow up? Is you gonna blow up for me? Kunk. There we go. That was... I think the timing was perfect on my hand. Okay, let's take care of these guys as well. Just junk that I am gonna sell later. And these, I don't need this, but it's fine. I'm gonna keep them. I think they're worth like one credit each. Uh, we can, we have plenty of space in our in our party. As hell is gonna carry a bunch of that stuff. Let's call for level ups. Copy, Echo. Now, congratulations. Thank you. That is that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna level up right now. We got another. What is this? This wall. Yeah, let's take care of that. Let me save the game as well because one percent chance to critically fail is still one percent. That was a critical success though. That's good. So you could do this differently, but I'm not gonna do it this... I'm not gonna do it differently, because this fight was actually pretty easy. What I'm gonna do instead is send Truth over there. I just hope that she's able to do whatever is needed of her to do. Let's see. Let's save the game. Um, and let's go. Hey, Rangers! Hey, Scorpions! You're too late! High pool is ours now! Wrecking crew rules! Come and get us, motherfuckers! <laughs> Okay, smash this thing! Let's go party! Wrecking crew, huh? Man, is that girl crazy? Boy. Yeah. Uh yeah, they're 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 crazy. They're cra that's the way of the of Wasteland. That is the way of, of the game. People are crazy. Uh but yeah, that, apparently those weren't the scorpions who attacked them. Which I thought would be. Uh well I should have known, really, because I I, I, I've played through the game on this part at least, so let's see. Can I fix this thing? Can you fix this thing? Uh, let's see. Your uh, computer science skill, 100%. That is simple. Go ahead and do it. But yeah, they got attacked by the wrecking crew and they lost. Oh! Okay. Kind of forgot about how that worked. But that's cool. I knew I knew it, it it would destroy this, but I thought it was just like entangle it or something. I don't know. But yeah, apparently it just blowed up. That is fine. Shrapnel flies and smoke thickens the air as the maintenance bot det detonates with a near splitting blast. That wasn't that loud. Come on, ear splitting. Eh. Oh boy, thing got spread all over the place. So yeah, that's how you could have done that, but I didn't do it because uh, you'd it'd take more damage uh, with a smoke. I think. Uh, Oh, I could have activated that. I don't. I didn't know that. Huh. Let's go to the west field then. Let us go upstairs, or up ladders, I guess. And uh, cause that's a ladder, right? And uh, see. welcome to the west field, Rangers. Lots of experimental fruits and veg. Not to mention a large rabbit population. So it's sure to be dangerous. Find the generator that's gone off the rails and find some way to get it back online. Do not. Just blow it up. I know that comes naturally to meatheads like you, so try to restrain yourself. Fix the generator, huh? Is that a, was that what she said? Uh, well, I know what to do. Don't worry, guys. I know what to do. So let's distribute that over the party. 
So this this part is actually quite tricky because did you hear us saying that there's a lot of lots of rabbits around here? Yeah, there's lots of rabbits around here. So actually, I think I does she gain experience from doing this? Because I think it's worthwhile to kick in every single door. She does get experience, but five experience is not really that much. So it's not it's not really that worthwhile. So yeah, there's rabbits around this place. So you really need to be careful for that. And there goes the pigeons. Yeah. There goes the rabbits. And uh, yeah, so what you should do is talk with that guy immediately. Because he's gonna accompany you. Yeah, he's gonna accompany you through this little area, I guess. We're gonna take the pigeon shit as well. I think... Let's see, I think we can take the pigeon shit. But then it might not be possible. Yeah, there they go. No, there was. There we go. I, I, I remember, I seem to remember some of these cages not being accessible for some reason. Not sure if it was because the game was brand new or whatever. Alt! Who goes there? I'll put a hole in your head the size of a tangerine, one of the mutant ones. The mutant tangerines? I don't see them. I love tangerines. I love tangerines. I, I, I grew up eating them because I had two huge tangerine trees uh, behind my house and I ate them all the time. Well, when they were up there. So, Honeydew Lewis. Hi. A, ri a wiry old gent in a tweed jacket and gardening apron. He has a bristly mustache and a burled wood pipe clamped between his teeth. Truth? Rose? Is that you? I'm still human, thank God. Madam, you are a sight for sore, methane-stung eyes. Oh, lovely to see you as well, Mr. Lewis. Lovely to see you as well. Please, Rose, how many times do I have to ask you to call me Jacob? Are you, are you safe? Are you well? Perfectly well, Mr. Lewis. And safe under... She doesn't... She doesn't want the confidence. She does not want... <laughs> Anyway, and safe under the protection of these rangers, thank you. You seem to have uh, succeeded in defeating your melons. Defending your melons. Oh, so far, but I cannot say for how long. If these rangers don't shut down the irrigation system, it may all be for naught. My patch may as well... May go as mad as the rest of the center. So, your patch? What kind of garden patch do you have? Oh, a melon patch. I have embarked on a noble quest to bring back this... To this dour and devastated world, God's greatest gift to the ap appetite of man, the honeydew melon. Yeah, I love those. I love those. And I will not allow any army to of uh, or horticultural horrors to destroy my dream. As you can see, as soon as I noticed things go awry, I rushed here and tore out all the irrigation pipes before the toxic brew could reach my precious plants. I fear, however, it is only a temporary respite. I doubtless, I will doubtless be overwhelmed by the rest of the mutated mess, but not by God, until I am dead and my last fuel spent. This guy speaks quite fancily. I, yeah. So, what's so special about honeydew melons? Oh, they are the pinnacle of God's creation, the supreme delight on this earth. If the others may mock me, they may call me old honeydew, but I know this. If a fruit can save the world, it is this fruit. For how could anyone, having savored its sweet and mellow fresh, how have any have you, have an an unpeaceful thought? So when did this madness start? Well, it all started a few hours ago. Oh, I don't have key sass for that. Okay. Hmm. Uh. So did I save the game? That's the real question right now. Did I say I want key sass for that? I want keys. That's why I'm reloading. Uh, I might not have saved the game up here. I have. Okay, good. So let's take care of that. Let's increase our kisses. Uh, this, there we go. Two is fine. And uh, let's speak with him again. Now with the renewed confidence that I'm going to be able to kiss his buttocks. Very, very, very clean. So, uh, the patch. The uh, honeydew. So, madness. Well, it all started a few hours ago. The rapidly increased growth. The appearance of those spitting tumors. The erratic behavior of my colleagues. And these ravening rabbits. Sabotage, I'm sure of it. Deliberate sabotage. So you seem to be holding your own against the rabbits. Will you help us finish them off? Yeah, this is what you should do. If you have KSS, this is what you should do. Certainly. Set. Oh, no, that's not what you should do. I want to speak with him. Ah, uh, come on. I want to speak with him about the other stuff first. Let's not ask about the madness then. So skills. I have that already. Let's go ahead and chat with him a little bit. I want to know a, a bit more about the, all of this situation. So... Um, patch, honeydew, so where's the irrigation system control? 
Oh, it's in the shed on the east side of this enclosure. Get there as, weak, as quick as you can and get that pump shut down. The regulator assembly is broken, so you'll need to find a new one in order to close it. I, I, I know the other mechanisms keep spare somewhere. Mechanics keep spare somewhere. I just don't know where. I suppose you could also disable it in a more final fashion, but I doubt Dr. Larson will approve. In any case, stopping it won't reverse what's happened, but at least it will stop things from getting worse. So what do you think of the Desert Rangers? Oh, my opinion of you will rise if you save this place, that's for certain. So, okay, there we go. So, I ask about the madness. And he wants to join it. Certainly, sad as I am to see such formerly armless creatures destroyed, it must be done. Or their madness will spread. So he is now on my side. Is it actually a pretty good sniper? As you can see, he can kill them um, one uh, with one shot, which is awesome. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure the first version of the game, the rats were very, very strong. They are like 40... This is Sue's house. Oh, that's right, Sue, the weird one. Was he a girl? I think it was a man, because he has a girl's name. Uh, let's take care of this lock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the original of the game, the rabbits had 40 HP each. And that's why I was a little bit surprised by seeing... Uh, that was a scripted, scripted event. Seeing Lewis over here, killing them with one shot with the sniper. Okay, a little furniture and a lot of books. Books on the table, books on the chairs, on the bed. There's also an unconscious man behind the door. A spent pistol loose in his hand. His head is bruised and he's got a punctured wounds all over. Ah. Huh. There is a suitcase under the bed. It is... It, in it, you find glass jars filled with a wide variety of seeds, all labeled, all labeled super carrots, mega squash, and normal berries. In normal berries? Really? Yeah. The titles are mostly politics and philosophy, leaning toward the love thy brother and share the wealth end of the spectrum. Flipping one open, you see a lot of fevered underlining and notes in the margins. Feed the world is repeated in several places. Oh, so I get the picture. Amongst, amongst the dirty plates and piles of books, you see a scattering of seeds of unusual side, size. Did they come from the extra large fruits and veggies outside? Or were they responsible? Huh, then this guy is... He passed out? For, why is he passed out? Let me save the game, because I think there's going to be skill checks right here. Uh. So what's going on here? Take the rest and watch the best. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, so... Oh no, Sue, says Rose. Let's take this. So, what is this? Faded pin? Junk. Okay. Oh no, Sue, the boy is a goof up, but he doesn't deserve to die like this. Can you heal him, Rangers? Well, you can heal him. What are you talking about? Can you heal him? He says. You're not using your items, are you, Sue? Uh, Rose. I'm alive? That's unexpected. Really? Do you want to die? What? What's wrong with you? Let me see. No, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Hey, Sue. Looking much more spry than before, Sue stands, well hunches, uh, before you with a look ragged of ragged defiance. His boots are covered in pigeon shit. Sweet Christ, I thought those fucking flies had killed me for sure. Ugh. Thanks, me, thanks for assist, Rangers, right? I'm Sue. I'm a research assistant here, and I help Matt with the business end of things. Rose says, and you're a world-class fool if you've done what I suspect. Why did I see mutant seeds in the pigeon loop in the east field? You saw what? In the where? Rose, look, I'm just coming back to myself. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, Rose saw mutant seeds in the coop in the messenger pigeons. Yeah, I was feeding them this morning. That's that's it. Stop right there, says Rose. You are lying to us, young man. Tell us the truth now. I... All right, all right. Look, I was just trying to do a little good in this fucked up world. See, this place is a miracle. We grow enough food to feed every community in the wastes, but most of it just sits here. Matt's working on our distribution, and Kathy's trying to make the plants and veggies smaller and more portable, but there's no time for that. People are starving now. Kathy's so worried about letting our secrets out that she's letting people go hungry. Well, fuck that. All those seeds? I fed them to the pigeons, and then I sent the pigeons off to the other communities. When they get there, they shit out the seeds, and boom! Instant garden. Genius, huh? All these books, says Rose. All these books and you haven't got the sense nature gave a turnip. So you're the one who's been stealing my seeds. So she... Um, yeah, so... Do you send out any of the mutant seeds? What? Oh shit! Sweet Jesus of, on a popsicle stick! I did! Yes! 
I put fresh seeds in the pigeon feed and sent them half a dozen of uh, sent half a dozen of them out right before he, all hell broke loose. What have I done? I've spread the mutation everywhere. What the fucking idiot? Yeah, what do you mean everywhere? But I do mean by everywhere? Shit, let me think. Oh, okay. Write this down. I sent them out. No, I sent them out three pigeons. So we got an infected pump station over here. Okay. That's all of them, I think. Oh, what? Just one location? Hmm. Will you take care of this one for me? The shape I'm in, I, I never make it. I'll make it for you. I'll make it up for you, I promise. I got access to some cool shit. Okay. Thank you. And please don't tell Matt and Kathy. I've learned my lesson. I won't pull another stunt like this, I swear. I really doubt you will. But then again, I'm not sure I'm not gonna be able to... I, I, I'm not sure I'm not gonna tell them. So why do you have... Why do you have pigeons? They're our communications network. Slower, but more reliable than radio. They take messages from us to uh, all towns around here, even raging citadels. So, what's going on with the plants? No, they were always big, but never this big. It's like they got super fertilized somehow. So you, you're not the one responsible for the fertilization, are you? So, yeah, because it was the other guy, I think. Yeah, that's right. So, the other guy... Uh, yeah, kind of... Okay, so now I'm... I'm Understanding it. I should have understood before, but yeah, the other guy that we killed before, remember, a couple of episodes ago, he was responsible for the fertilization or the mutation. Uh, and this guy was responsible for the spreading of it outside the egg center. Huh. So you've never seen plants this big before? I haven't seen this kind of growth except down in Skinner's mushroom caves. Skinner Mushroom runs the mushroom caves? Yeah, I actually shouldn't call them Skinner's Caves, he just works there. Dr. Herbinson runs the place, but yeah, he's dead. Uh, but Skinner's the one who always, who's always there. Herbinson always goes down there to take samples. So what do you think of Skinner? Why is the cracker down in the mushroom caves, keeps them in the dark and feeds them shit? Ha! He's kind of in the dark himself. Good family man and all, just, just you know, company man. Does his job and doesn't think about it. So, yeah. yeah and you think about it. You think about it very, very well. So what do you think of Matt Forrestal? Oh, he's a great boss. Wish Kathy was more like him. So, you're a boy named Sue. Oh, don't get me started. Blame my foster parents. They wanted a girl. I tried to change it back to Jack once, but people would call me Jack, and I wouldn't realize they were talking to me, so I went back to Sue. <laughs> you're not a very bright one, are you? Uh, what do you think of the Desert Rangers? Excellent. Mac Matt must have called you in. Well, I'm glad you were here. Shit has gotten a little out of hand. So, yeah. No idea what happened, though. Everything just mutating like crazy. Mutant plants, mutant insects, mutant seeds. Why can't you tell me about the insects? Those fuckers nearly killed me! Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you said that at the beginning of the conversation. A June bug as big as a watermelon slammed into my head. I thought it, it bashed my brains out. So, uh, why do you have pigeon shit on your boots? Huh? Oh, right, my boots. Yeah, I was feeding the pigeons today when everything started going crazy. Yeah, we know that. We're going around this conversation a little bit of a weird order, but that's fine. So, the seeds I'm retaining too. I literally saw seeds splitting and sprouting creepers in a matter of seconds. It was freaky. So, why do you have seeds in that suitcase? I'm not sure which one of this is good. Let's go with this one. What does feed the world means? Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's my philosophy. Yeah, we shouldn't leave the means of feeding the people in the hands of the few. Everybody should be able to feed themselves. Food for all! Mm, so why do you have plants in that suitcase? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I should have gone for... I think that is... Well, I have smart ass. Let's go with that. Uh, yeah, that's that's my collection. I want to be like Rose and Kathy someday. Not just an assistant. I want to be a full-fledged researcher. So I'm researching. Yeah, I don't have smart ass. Four level four? Hmm. Well, whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah, that's my collection. Uh, so you seem much smarter than my than any system. Does he? Well, tell us more. Uh, well, you seem like you get what I'm about. So okay. So see, this this place is a miracle. We grow enough food to feed every community in the waste, but most of it just sits here. I've heard that before. Shut up. Kirby is so worried about learning our secrets. Yeah, yeah. All these books and you haven't got. Okay, so this is basically a different way of getting to this whole line of dialogue. Uh, so, did you send out the mutant seeds? Oh shit, I did. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, thanks again for saving my life and everything else. I owe you. You do owe me. Rangers, you're back. Everything's okay. This guy's got short-term memory. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's something to do with how the game is scripted. Uh, let's, uh, okay, so let's continue looking around. We got uh, Honeydew over here with us. Are these the Wallamelons? I don't think so. It's locked. Should have 
Should have figured. Okay, that's actually a very difficult lock. Let me save the game. Because bashing it in is going to be mostly impossible. I think it is actually going to be... Yet, 35% chance of critical failure against 26% chance to succeed with a brute force. But that was a success on the lock picking, which is perfect. I always prefer those because... Well, you'll see. You'll see. Well, because Diego is lower level, that's why. Yeah. Oh no! I didn't want to do that! Didn't want to do that, that was bad. Okay, yeah, I don't want that thing to explode. Uh, I want to I wanna get what is in the... Uh, let's take care of that. I want to get what is in the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The, the chests? Yeah, I really I really shouldn't let that thing explode because it will blow up what's inside the chests or it used to and anyway, so you need to be careful for that. So let's see uh, So we got a chest over here the chest not okay, so what is that though? Small mechanism of pumps and valves this device must be part of some larger machine. I don't think that blowed up so uh, let's have uh, Francis get that Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there! We didn't have time. Yeah, we didn't have time. Boy. Okay, that guy got infected. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, glass shards. Okay. That is how we do it. I think there is a possibility to get all of it, but I don't know. Let's get this. Oh, that's the flow regulator. That's right. I know what that is. That is what we need to complete this quest. So, in here... Let me go back to party mode. Uh, so he's, uh, yeah, he's infected, but that's fine, I don't care. So in here, what do we have? Nothing. Nothing! There's nada here. Nada. Zilch. Rien de rien. Uh, not actually rien. Isn't rien, like, supposed to be... No, I think it is nothing in French. Might be wrong, though. My French is very rusty. Very, very rusty. I actually had five years of French in school. And, uh, I can't blame it on my teachers. I just... I just don't practice it. And learning languages... You need to practice them. That's all you need. Besides, where the hell are the rabbits? There they are. Let me take care of them with Ace Hell. There they are. Actually, let me save the game. Shoot it! Shoot it! There we go. That was almost a one-shot kill. Psychopath. There you go, Ace Hell. There you go. Okay, so he's gonna shoot him and kill him. Uh, let's see. I am gonna bring you over here. And they're gonna go into a crouch. And they're gonna go into an ambush. Okay, so we got three... From the looks of things, we got three rabbits coming this way. That is really bad. Okay, so... Mm. Okay, so easy mending. I don't think he's bleeding out, so that's cool. These rabbits run like a... Like little rabbits. Uh, I need to take care of uh, that guy, I think. Let's take care of that guy if I can. One shot! A miss! A miss. That was expected. Okay. Okay, this guy... Man, there's a lot of rabbits. Okay, uh, I should... Yeah, the under pressure is not really that great. I need to spread my team. So what I'm gonna do... Send this guy over there. And try to shoot him from... Actually, try to shoot him from here. There we go! That was actually very lucky. That was very lucky. So, you are not under pressure. You could attack that. Let's do that. One shot. And jam. Just my luck. God damn you. Okay, 54. That's Rose. Yeah, Rose can only attack twice. I think there's pistols that cost two uh, attack, two action points later later in the game, but not right now. Okay, so they are storming on uh, an Aza Hell over there. That's fine. Oh, this battle. This battle might be our. Okay, what was that? Oh, it's the Honey Dew guy. Okay. Uh, I think it is better to attack. This guy on melee. Miss? Come on, hit him once. Oh, come on, it was not better. So let's go into a stand. Attack Honeydew, not me! Not Truth. Well, she has this. She's gonna miss them all. God damn you, Truth. Yeah, this this combat. This combat right here. Uh, the problem. Oh, god damn it, Rose as well. Diego is not attacking. Of course, Diego is not attacking. Diego is unconscious. Damn you. This is not going well at all. This is just terrible. Okay, I need to move you as well. Let's bring you there. I'm going to crouch. And attack this guy. If you can kill him, that would be perfect. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you have a jammed weapon and you have a fist. Of course, 0% chance to hit. 
I say of course, but there's not really an obvious reason why that is. I mean, punching a rabbit in the face? Come on. Okay, so we got that guy out of range. Let's attack this guy. You can kill him if you kill him now. No, of course you can't. Of course you can't. Uh, let's see. You can move. Uh, wait a minute. Isn't she nimble? She's not nimble. So let's bring her back here. I should be able to kill both of them if I hit him both, which is would be fantastic. Oh, there it is! That was fantastic. Now I could kill him if I hit him three times. Of course, that's not gonna happen. Uh, but okay, let's bring her back here. Let's see what happens next. Yeah, okay. Rose is taking some damage. He's not mending. Oh, he's mending. There we go. Fantastic. That was actually pretty good. Pretty good. Huh. Okay. And with that, I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been... Is he running away? He said something. Farewell, Rose. Please be careful. Only if you'll do the same, Jacob. Only if you'll do the same. She treated him... There we go, Rose. There you go. And on that bombshell, it's time to end the episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 2 Director Scott. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!